Hi everybody, welcome to another Carrera tutorial. I'm Kripe Man. And what we're going to do this time through is we're going to make a barrel. And uh, we're going to do it using our lathe function in our modeler. Let's go ahead and uh, drop a vertex object into our assembly room. And our assembly room becomes our modeling room. Let's go ahead and jump to modeling room proper. And uh, push 4. And that's going to give you your 4 pane view. And go down to the front click that and push one and now you're in the front now you can do your modeling now uh, before you do any of that go ahead and push command J or control J I think and on, on Windows machines uh, modeling box size is 12 feet and the spacing is a foot between each uh, point let's go ahead and uh, make that point five and we're ready to go now over here is your polyline tool go ahead and uh, push that and we're going to uh, we're going to make our it's kind of a weird way to do it but uh, Career and Snaps Pro just don't seem to get along and we're gonna make our you don't have to do drag your stuff all the way over here you can you can uh, just keep on modeling as you go but uh, here's the here's where your bands come in make sure you you kind of preview how big your bands are going to be and go all the way down here we're almost done doing this crazy stuff and then we'll go ahead and go up here and close off our our, uh, our polygon now, um, let's go ahead and uh, select a point and bring it in just a smidge. Come on, baby. Grab a point and grab another. Push shift, push this other point down here. There we go. And we'll go ahead and bring those over just a smidge. There we go. Wow. All right, now, here's where the fun part comes in. Check this out. Um, go ahead and select everything. Make sure you're in edge mode or um, polyline mode. And now that you have everything selected, let's go ahead and you can go here or you can do construct lathe and then click the point that you're going to lathe around and there's your barrel and it's pretty it's a pretty nice little barrel actually it doesn't uh, it's good for what your purposes would be if you're making a barrel that's that's the basic idea now go ahead and uh, go over here and click oh click your polygon click polygon here shift polygon here and now let's loop it and it take, makes a loop all the way around. Now go down here to your uh, model selection texture. We're going to make a new shading domain and we're going to call that bands. B A N D S. And let's select these polygons here. Shift, put, click this one. And then do a loop there. And since we already have a texture um, assigned to it, or since we already have an extra texture, let's assign that to the bands. Let's go ahead and make an extra shader here. New master shader. Just going to make it yellow. Now go over here, and it drops right into where your bands are. And change the color of this. brown with no highlights and there's your barrel now uh, you could something you could do to it too um, let's go ahead and select all oh, select all 
and let's go ahead and uh, smooth it and it makes it kind of barely or see how much better that looks now if you're going to apply it uh, if you're going to apply a map to it you know, like a texture map if you're going to make a texture map in Photoshop or your ed image editor of choice um, go to UV editing mode and the mapping is naturally spherical let's go ahead and make that cylindrical aligned with the up Z axis the up and down axis in Carrera and uh, you're ready to go. Uh, texture your stuff. Add uh, texture to this part and then add, add a texture to this part and you should be good to go. Anyway, uh, that's how you make a barrel. Uh, quick and easy and uh, kind of fun. So anyway, that's it for this time. I'm Cripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later.